Oh, you see that? That one, huge. That one, huge. That one, that one. What's going on guys, Bastin Up Mafia here. And we are gonna talk to you some more about the Spro KGB Shad and just kind of glide baits in general in this video. We're gonna go over rod and uh, setup and line and all that at the end. And we're also gonna show you some footage fishing it as well. So stay tuned for all that at the end. You're gonna wanna make sure you watch this one the whole way through. But here we go guys. Alright you guys, we're going to start out with the KGB Shad again. This bro KGB Chad Shad. In the bone color. I'm going to toss that around. See if we can get a big old girl. So for my retrieve, I start out doing three slow reel handle twitches and then two fast ones. The two fast ones kind of incite reaction out of them and I start doing that because I had success on it last time I was out. One big thing about fishing in the fall, you want to make your bait kind of erratic and do different things to stand out because there's a ton of bait up shallow and these bass are pushing them into shallow pockets and shallow points and anything that they can school up and push a bunch of bait fish into is where they're going to be stacking up and doing that at and that's going to be near points near deep water with long transitions or any kind of pockets main lake pockets in the backs of coves big coves especially if there's grass around got one got one Get the net, get the net. Get the net, get the net. Oh. Damn it. Yeah, I know. He grabbed it after the fast twitch. Three and then two fast ones. Now after fishing through that pocket a little bit, we decide to change spots and move. Also guys, with that last glide bait fish that I lost, one of the mistakes that I made there is with a glide bait, a lot of times you really wanna crank those fish in and don't give them any chance to fight and don't give them any chance to jump because with using a big bait, especially if they're not hooked well, they can shake it super easily. And this one, I kind of messed around with it, fighting it a little too much in the beginning, trying to get good footage, and he went under the boat and pulled the bait. It happens, it's fishing, and especially part of glide bait fishing, but it can be avoided a little bit if you grind them in as fast as you can. Oh, do you see that? Big striper. No way. Yeah, huge striper just came up for it. Followed it all the way to the boat. Got one. Huge. Got one. Huge. Keep, keep, keep reeling hard, 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 hard. Stay thin, real hard. Look at that one, guys. That's a big one off the Spro Chad Chad again. Another tank. We had two really big bites tonight. We lost the one right under the boat. And hooked up with this one. Had a big striper follow. This bad man pajama wanted it. There we go guys. One last good look at that big girl. It's 
It's probably a four and a half, five pounder. Let her go. Yes. Second glide bait fish ever. There I'm checking to see, make sure I don't have any nicks in my line. That's always a great thing to do to make sure you don't lose a big fish or a big bait, especially after catching a big fish or after fishing for a little while. Same thing I was doing last time. Three and then too fast. My, my regular retrieve is pretty slow, like really slow. And then I do boop, boop. I think I figured there's something out here. Look how it looks when you do that. Look, see? Oh, watch this. So this is the regular, just watch, see? It like darts around big time when you do that fast one. I think that's what they really like him. There's fish out over top of this grass a lot. Yeah, I'd rather catch one with the glide bait though. Yeah. Well, look at that freaking huge striper that followed it up. He probably would have ate this if I had more water. I would have saw him sooner. Well guys, here we are at the portion of this video where I break it down a little bit for y'all. So the Spro KGB Shad is a two and a half ounce bait. My favorite color so far that I've found is the bone and the rod setup that I like to throw that on. I just got this recently this year because I just got big time into throwing big glide baits and I didn't want to break the bank. So I went with this Savage Gear Squad swim bait rod. This is an eight foot extra heavy power. This goes two to eight ounces. It's got a little bit of a soft tip for setting the hook with these treble hook baits, but it's got a meaty, meaty backbone. And then I'm throwing that on a 301 HD Shimano Tranix. I swapped out the handle here. Um, I did that because with throwing these big glide baits like this, especially eight and 10 ounce ones, they, on the regular Tranix with the power handle, sometimes I learned the hard way that the power handle can whip around if you're not holding on to it when you cast and engage your reel and throw off an expensive bait. Like I did, we'll show you that right now. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Jesus. Go, go, go. But, like I said, that power handle, if you're not paying attention enough and if you don't hold on to it, it can make you snap off a really expensive bait. So, I took that off right away and put a GMXS regular handle on there. It's a little bit wider and it helps me get a good retrieve in on the glide baits. Now, the retrieve I was doing in this video and in my last glide bait video was just a simple, like, three reel handle twitches and then two fast ones and I did that all the way to the boat and that's what it took to get them. Uh, in the fall here like this, you can do more steady retrieves, more faster retrieves. You can also make the bait kick out a little bit as it's going through the water. Any kind of erratic action in the fall 
is going to make this bait stand out a little bit more than all the other bait fish because it's fall like i said all the bait fish are shallow they're going to be pushed up into pockets pushed up into the backs of coves especially if there's grass in the backs of those coves and the bass are going to be slamming them going to be shallow water uh, glide baits don't fish too too great in deep water unless you have deep water glide baits and there's not too too many of them on the market you can mess around with weighting these to get them to go down a little bit deeper but it can mess with the action so you got to tune in a little bit when you do that some people add a little bit of lead wire to the hooks to get it to weight down a little more that works pretty good they also make suspend strips and suspend dots and all kinds of other stuff you can put on them to make them go a little bit deeper but i've just been using a straight regular one lately nothing extra done to it all the fish have been shallow so i haven't needed to get it to go any deeper and a little bit deeper that i have needed it to get all i've been doing is counting it down to that depth but most of the fish right now are between a foot and eight ten foot that I've been catching, so didn't need it. But with all that being said, that is pretty much going to conclude this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Helps me out, helps push my videos along a little bit further. And I would really appreciate it if you do like and subscribe because like I said, helps me out a ton. And very soon we're going to be getting together some merch like t-shirts, maybe some cups, hats and stuff like that and we're going to be getting a website up so stay tuned for that and be on the lookout also get entered into my giveaway we're going to be giving away five of my favorite lords as soon as we hit 1500 subscribers we're not too too crazy far i think we're around 1200 and something so get subscribing and get to liking to get entered into that giveaway you can also leave a comment for an extra entry and you can also share it on one of your social media pages for another entry as well definitely tag me in it or you won't get an extra entry for sharing my video on one of your social media pages but we will see you next thursday guys tight lines